Hi everyone, Dr. Rohde here. I wanted to take a few quick minutes to walk through a tour of our Blackboard course environment. You might be new to Blackboard's Ultra course experience that we've enabled and we're piloting during this course. I wanted to make sure everyone had a chance to, to really get a good sense of uh, how the course is set up and what the specific features are in terms of navigation, and use overall usability. So I'm gonna just quickly walk through Blackboard here today and you can follow along, you can kind of see where I'm going and then if you have questions after watching this uh, course tour, then bring those to our course kickoff and I'm happy to, to dig in further and to provide more information as needed. So here you can see I am logged into Blackboard and this is the institution page. This is the default area when you log into Blackboard that you'll see. Uh, before I go into our course, I just want to mention that you have these tabs in the left uh, side of the, the um, screen. And when you click on the one that has your name listed, this is where you go to adjust your profile photo. Uh, one of the requirements that I have in our course is that you have a profile photo here, one that represents you. Um, it's, that's really helpful for, for me <laughs> to be able to put a face with your name um, but also in developing a sense of presence in our online courses. So um, if the photo that you see is not the one that you'd like to have as your profile photo, the way you change it is just mouse over it. You'll see a little pencil icon that'll appear and you can click on that and uh, the uh, little panel uh, flies over, a little peak panel, and this is where you can upload a new picture. You can delete the one that you have, you can upload a different one at this point. Um, so I'm gonna, just wanted to point that out. Uh, next is the activity stream. Uh, this is a really helpful area just to take a, a look at when you come into Blackboard. This is gonna show you uh, kind of the latest of what's happened across any of your Blackboard courses. Um, so you'll see uh, here I've got a bunch of different announcements or, or kind of reminders and things just from the various Blackboard courses or organizations that I'm enrolled in at, at this point. Um, You'll see announcements will be listed here. Um, you might see um, a notice that you have a grade that's posted and you can view your grade at this point. You can click on the button to view that, to view feedback. Just a helpful high level, uh, quick update as to where you're at in your various courses. So I would encourage you to take a peek at the stream when you come into Blackboard. Then you also have your courses and this is where you would get into our spring course. Um, it'll not say private, you'll actually be able to get in and access it um, at this point. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go into our course and I'm gonna enter what's called student preview mode. So we'll be able to walk through the course together as it should look to you as a student. So uh, across the top, the top right uh, area, I just wanna highlight these little tabs. These are persistent throughout Blackboard, um, kind of the tool area. The default right here, this is where we are, the course content. Um, area of our course. Then next is the calendar. Um, next is discussions. Then you have gradebook and messages. These are all pretty self-explanatory, but I'll just briefly mention them. Calendar is obviously an area where you can find um, items that you might have that are set up in the course as, as for due dates, activities, um, that sort of thing. And you can, you can go through the calendar uh, by month, um, so pretty self-explanatory there. Now discussions, we aren't going to be using the built-in Blackboard discussion tool that much. There's only a couple that you'll see here for starters. One is uh, forming groups, an area where you can uh, chime in with any preferences you have for potential group members as I look to form groups later in the course. And then I have a a glitches forum, just a place if you find a typo, um, you've got just, you wanna report something about the, the overall setup of the course, this would be a place where you can uh, rep share that with me. Um, the, the rest of our discussions are gonna happen in the tool called Yellow Dig, which I'll get to in just a moment. Uh, next is the grades, the course grades or the gradebook area. Uh, you won't see much for starters now, but this is where you'll be able to go to see um, scores, grades that you've earned, and my feedback will be listed here for you. And then finally, this messages tool, um, I will, I may periodically use this to just kind of reach out quickly to you. Um, it's the kind of internal messaging uh, capability within our course. 
uh, separate from emails. I generally will try to send, when I send a message, a, a course message, I, I do have the option to send it to you as an email as well. So you should be getting any messages from me should come as emails, but this is just a place that where you can, you can find them directly within the course. And then to get back to the front page, of course, we click this uh, course content. The very first tab up here takes you back to the front page. Okay. Now, from this point, as we move ahead, I'm just going to talk through this course content area. The course is very simple, very linear um, in its overall design. The first thing is the welcome start here um, module, and it says click to open. So just clicking anywhere in this tab uh, opens down this area, just welcome information for you. Uh, let's get started, of course, just is that uh, the very basics of getting started the, the most high level things that you'll need to know information about our online meetings when those will be um, how to, to get our course news and reminders via text or push notifications with the remind app um, how you get how you can text um, this code to 81010 and you can um, get those reminders um, and there's additional kind of getting started information that's here as well uh, now to move on to the next item, this is a, because this is set up as a module, you can click up here um, and it'll go to your instructor. So the next, next information page within the module is information about me. So you've got all my contact information is here, uh, my background, uh, even got a quick photo of my family um, is here for you. So because this is a module, you can go forward and backwards. So again, here's let's get started, takes you back. And now syllabus and course information will will take you forward to our next area that you'll want to uh, pay attention to and download the latest copy of the syllabus and the quick guide. Um, I did catch a couple typos in what I had originally emailed to you before our course began, so I'd encourage you to just uh, go in and, and re-download the latest version of the syllabus and quick guide. Um, there's a link here to our course videos playlist in um, YouTube. So if you're a YouTube user, all of our videos will appear here over time for our course, and you can access them at any point. Um, this course video will be uh, here shortly uh, once I finish posting and getting this ready to go for you. All right, and then so to close out of this area, then you could just click the red X, and it'll close out that, that module. Um, this is set up as a... It will be, I think, generally uh, collapsed by default, and you'll have to click on it to open to see these information items. This is an example of a module in Blackboard. Um, we've got the, our courses organized in these these modules that you'll see. The next link here is the Yellow Dig community discussion. This is what we're going to be using, as I said, for our discussion, the Yellow, Yellow Dig um, platform. And uh, you simply click on the link to open up um, some information about our Yellow Dig community. It should launch, actually, when you click it. Um, I think because I'm in preview mode, it's giving me this. Um, it's giving me this page. Let me close out of. Uh, let me end student preview mode. I think that's going to fix this link for us. Let's go back here, and here we come. So, Yellow Dig community. Uh, think of it. It's more. It's got more of a social media kind of feel to it. Um, very easy to navigate. I've got a couple of initial posts here. Um, to, to kind of explain a little bit about what Yellow Dig is and how to participate and kind of encourage you to just kind of jump in and try it out. Uh, basically, it's really easy to create a, a post. You click this Create button. You give it a title. Uh, you can put in content, uh, links, um, hashtags. You can upload video um, directly uh, or record video directly within a, a posting like this. Um, you give it a topic. So topics are really helpful to how you organize. So if you had a, just a qu general question, you could, you could tag it as questions and answers, give it a title, put in your content, and hit post. You actually, you're going to be earning participation points uh, through the, the Yellow Dig platform. Um, each week, you can earn up to 1,250 uh, points. Each week is worth a max of 1,000 points, but you can earn above that. Then those those points, and I, I explained this in the syllabus, um, so I won't get into it here. Uh, but that, that ends up being normalized into an overall um, score at the end of the course. 
Um, so your yellow dig participation is, in all, you're going to earn a total of 100 points in our course grading, or 20% of your, your course grade will be your participation in yellow dig. Um, so that discussion component will be something we, we, we regularly are participating in throughout the course. Um, so I'll, I can explain more when we do meet uh, at our course kickoff, but get in, try out Yellow Dig. Um, as individuals start posting and, and we get a, a stream of, of participation here, um, you can sort there's um, and filter posts by uh, different, um, by either by member, by hashtag, by topic, uh, and so forth. So get in and try out Yellow Dig. All right. So that's our, that'll be our discussion area. So when I, in the course, have instructions to go in and participate in a discussion, that, that's all going to happen within Yellow Dig. Um, and you just click on that link to go back into the Yellow Dig space. I'm going to turn preview mode back on here for us. All right, uh, the next link, Zoom, as a student. So I, we are going to use Zoom for our synchronous um, sessions in our course. This is where you can go to access the various Zoom sessions that I've set up so far. I did email you all. Uh, the information separately so you could have that uh, in your calendar for our course kickoff as well as our course um, our final course class session where you'll be giving uh, presentations uh, once we set up our groups i will set up uh, dedicated group uh, zoom spaces so each of your groups will have your own zoom room that you can go into at any point in time to collaborate and such so those will all be found within this zoom link okay uh, forming groups this is a, a discussion forum in Blackboard, uh, just where I'd love to hear if you have any preferences for who you'd like to uh, be in a group with. We're looking to form groups of three to five members. Um, that's the kind of the number that we're we're looking for in terms of number of group members. Uh, I will be forming those um, soon, and so I would appreciate any if you have preferences, if you have colleagues in this. Uh, course that you've worked with before you'd like to work with I'm happy to try and accommodate all of those um, requests so let me know in the the discussion area just your, your preferences I did also share some final project samples a couple of examples and I, I get requests from from students you know what will that final project look like so you can get in and you can start to get a sense from these couple of examples again these are not perfect uh, but they do give you a, a flavor for what we're looking at in terms of the the final projects for our course all right um, and then you'll see these tabs these again are modules in blackboard so each of these for example our online kickoff i i did for now just put a link directly to our zoom session um, clicking that link should take you right into our uh, our uh, kickoff zoom session on thursday evening um, it also, you can get to it from the, the Zoom student, student area up here as well. Um, clicking on that, I shouldn't have clicked that link. I'm going to close out of there. All right. Um, modules can be expanded and collapsed. Um, so as you can see, um, you can click on this, the title of the module. They're going to be consistently structured. Um, so you know everything you, you're going to need, you're going to be able to find within the module. Um, so for example, module one uh, that kicks off the beginning of our course. Uh, there, the topics are listed. You'll then have a brief video welcome from me. Um, clicking on that link will launch the video directly within here. Uh, you can you can watch that. I encourage you to watch these video welcomes. I'll, I'll give some background, kind of uh, kind of set up the initial uh, module and what we'll be doing. Next, there'll be uh, some overview and objectives. And so, clicking on that um, here, you can see the uh, just a high level overview and then you've got the module objectives as well as tips for success are listed there as a module you can advance through these uh, info items in a linear fashion by clicking you know to the next um, item um, and then for example this is a link so you just this will just take you to um, for example here's one of the readings here um, for our uh, module yeah, so the, but the other way you navigate these modules again is you can just mouse through hover over and in this in module one for example there was our overview and objectives now we have readings and media resources and so you can actually click on that folder title to drill down and here's those separate uh, media items so you can link directly to them um, to view them uh, jump to them right here 
And so all of the readings are within this readings and media resources folder. And then the activities and assignments are all within a folder as well. And so here you can see link to some information about uh, your Blackboard profile photo. Um, we have a Hello I Am video grid activity. Um, you can click on the link to open that up and go right to our video grid uh, discussion. It's going to look something like this. And for you to participate, you'll, it'll prompt you to enter your student username. Uh, this is where you'll simply type in your ZID that you, uh, username that you log into Blackboard, hit go, and that should let you in. If you have any problems in connecting to and accessing our video discussion here in Flipgrid, let me know. All right. And, um, and then in this module, I mentioned we have some discussion. It's listed module one discussion, yellow dig. This is the prompt, kind of the initial questions I'll just throw out for us to discuss in Yellow Dig. And rather than you post it in a discussion board directly here in Blackboard, you'll, you would go into our Yellow Dig community, you'd add a new topic, a new, new uh, post. Um, you could uh, respond to, uh, in this example, I've got a couple of different questions for you to respond to and put that in your post and post that directly within Yellow Dig. All right, so that's module one. Then you can close these modules again by clicking the title, it collapses down. As you look at here, module one and two, notice they have the same dates. Uh, this is an accelerated online course, so you will have each week, uh, with the exception all but one week, you'll be doing two modules per week. Um, so here you can see module two, and just like module one, you've got the same setup. A brief video welcome from me to module two, followed by the overview and objectives. Then you have the readings and media resources all nicely organized for you in a folder that you can get to. And then the activities and assignments are here as well. Um, so these should all correspond to the course quick guide. And I'm working on getting all of the modules for the entire course all available to you. Um, I know that this we're completing this course in a pandemic. Um, you are all juggling a lot right now with your personal lives, with work, uh, with family and, and everything else that's going on. And so I want to provide as much flexibility as possible. And so what I'm going to be doing is just opening up the entire course and you'll have the access then to proceed through um, keeping in mind our course deadlines. Um, so I'd encourage you to um, do your best to keep up with where we're at in the course. But I, I do understand if you need to work ahead a little bit because you know you've got a, a commitment coming up that you've, you're trying to juggle. I'm trying to make sure you have that flexibility in our course. And so I hope that's that's helpful to you. Um, so you'll see right now, I've, I've got modules one through five showing on the screen. I'm working on getting all of the other modules uh, made available to you. And so you can get in and um, you can access those. So I'll be turning the course on, opening it up with, with modules one through five open and then opening others um, quickly thereafter. Uh, you'll keep, you'll notice as you go through the course, there are um, items that are group types of activities. So if I go to, um, I don't know that module five has any yet. No, these are still, we're still individual activities at this point. So um, as we get through to our later modules, there are some activities at that point that will be group activities um, and assignments for you to complete. And those you'll need to work with your group to get those submitted uh, and doing that in a, a timely fashion. Uh, when I do set up groups over here, uh, the left-hand side, there will be, you'll have an option. This is where you'll access your group information within our course. Um, so in a, a couple weeks, when we do have the groups set and, and enabled, this is where you'll go to access um, the group area, group space. So with that, uh, I hope that's a that high-level tour of our Blackboard course is helpful. Um, again, as at our course kickoff, I'm happy to answer more questions or I can go into more depth into the course, but I hope that gives you a, a good sense of what you can expect in terms of the course setup, how the course is organized, and where you can find information that you need. My goal is to help you to be successful and to do everything I can to support you uh, in being successful uh, in our course. Uh, there's no reason why everybody in our ca course can't earn an A. Um, if you apply yourself, uh, really, you're going to get out of the course what you put into it. And so I encourage you to, to get started. Uh, look forward to seeing you in our Flipgrid video discussions, our, our Hello I Am uh, video discussions to kick off the course, and to seeing you at our course kickoff on Thursday night. In the meantime, if you have questions, 
Uh, you've got my contact info. You can reach out through email, or you can just post a question in Yellow Dig, and I'm happy to answer there.